Okay, let's talk about function chaining rule. In the previous video, we get a sentence and find the word count and then by number to string function, we converted this integer to a text representation. So, the important thing is that the input type of the second function must be the same as the output type of the first function. What if we don't do that? We get a class cast exception. Okay, let's try something else. Our first function converts a sentence to uppercase. So in this case, tala ocak to uppercase tala ocak And then we are using the number to string function again. So it is waiting for a number, but we are supplying a string to this function. So it cannot handle this type and a class cast exception thrown on runtime. So it is not a compile time error, but this is a runtime error. Okay, so this is uh, so this is a real so this is really a problem. Let me create it. The uppercase method. It gets a string and return another string to uppercase. And I'm creating a new anonymous inner function. Okay. Gets a string and returns a string. It simply return t to uppercase. That's all. Okay. Now let's try to chain uh, these functions. Uppercase. Okay. I will first evoke to uppercase and then number and then number to text and then apply some string okay so we get a compile error at first it says the output of two uppercase methods and the input type of number to text method must be same or they must be in the same inheritance hierarchy but in this case they are not this is a compilation error for now because we defined uh, the input and output times perfectly but if we use some super class for the input and output arguments uh, this compile error may not be arise and the error uh, may arise in execution time runtime let's do this for instance object here and object here and object here after that if we cast this string this object to a string let's modify the input type of number to object to this to this and then this and let's cast it to integer okay so we solved the compilation problem because now the compiler does not understand if the input and output types are uh, proper because we tell only object here okay and if we run this function chaining we got a class cast exception here it says javalang string cannot be cast to javalang integer because the output was string here to uppercase method and then we and then we invoked num to text method of the output of this method so it is an object we don't know the exact type but we are trying to cast it to integer here so that we may process it but on this line we got the error we, we could not cast this string to integer so it is important to define the input and output types uh, perfectly so that no exception is thrown on runtime because as you can see compiler cannot understand uh, if the types are proper or not so let me revert all the modifications 
and this line cannot be used okay so let me repeat the function chaining rule the input type of the second function must be the same as the output type of the previous function in the next video we will talk about predicates